Hello! Welcome back to another episode of Working. <laughs> so today I'm traveling for work, hence the title. Um, and I flew in today at, at 8 a.m. I think I landed here at like 8 something, 9 something Arizona time. I can't remember. Um, early. It is now 5. Um, I am in Scottsdale for the next three days for business. Basically, all we're doing is like team meetings, discussing planning for next year, and yeah. So today, went and got pizza, we got coffee, we worked all day. So it's been kind of like, we flew in early so that we could explore, but we just have so much work to get done that there wasn't a lot of exploring. Um, and now I'm trying to shower quickly because we have dinner at six something and I just ate, so my stomach is honestly hurting. But yeah, I'm super tired. So I'll probably talk more later. Um, but yeah. Really quick, let me show you guys my room because it's kind of loud because there's a little water fountain thing right here, but I have a whole balcony to myself. I fucking love balconies. So let me show you guys. Let me give you guys a little room tour. Okay, so I'm wondering if that's a suite or a sizzle because that looks like really nice. Um, but out here I have this lawn chair, these little, this little setup. It's like a really big balcony, honestly. And then this is the room. I don't know why we have two beds. Um, it's just me in this room, but it's like cool. This is Hotel Valley Ho, I think it's Scottsdale. Um, this is honestly a really big room. Like, I could live here. <laughs> it's like really dark though. I don't know why. I don't know. How to so, there's like these mood lights. Turns off the blue lights. I don't know how to turn on. Oh, right here. Sorry, guys. I'm. Oh, that didn't do anything. Okay. I don't know how to turn on my bedroom lights, but there's these. There's these. Um, this is the bathroom. A little bathtub yes and then of course the mood lighting or whatever um, this is the bathroom and the shower welcome to my what was it called welcome to my hot crib or whatever but also I'm kind of a mess because I I've been traveling a lot like last month first week of October I was in Vegas came back for like two to three days and then I had um, Bendiger Winery, which is in Napa, and then I came back for like two to three days, and then I went on vacation to the DR, came back for, again, like two to three days, I kid you not, like, I was, I came back last Thursday night, I worked on Friday, had the weekend off, I worked yesterday, today's Tuesday, I worked yesterday, and then I'm traveling again, so like, and then I come back on Friday again, and I work like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I think, and I fly for vacation again. So it's been a lot of travel. I didn't plan for it to be like this. So I planned my vacation for Mexico a long time ago. My sister and cousin were like, let's go to the DR. And girl, I'm not gonna pass up a trip, you know? I did that in college one time and I've regretted it ever since. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to the DR. I've always wanted to go to the DR and it was a great trip. Um, but yeah, the, the travel, like, Look at these bags. I'm, I'm struggling, <laughs> but it's a good life I'm living. It's the life I've always wanted. Um, and I forgot my earrings. I forgot my rings, forgot my deodorant, my toothbrush, my toothpaste. Like I'm a mess because I've just been packing and unpacking and just like everything is all over the place now. I need to get my life together, but I'm going to go do a target run later. Um, maybe I'll have to wake up early because I was planning to do it today. Eve. I'm a little out of breath because I'm also <laughs> recovering from a sinus infection that I got last week. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, I worked a full week last week. Girl, I'm like all over the place, honestly. Um, or did I work a full week? I don't know. I think I did. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Um, but yeah, I'm going to shower because I fucking stink. Get ready for dinner. Hopefully I'll have like at least 10 minutes to close my eyes or something. And yeah, oh my god, why do my arms look like noodles? Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I have showered. There's zero full-size body mirrors in here. Um, so I'm trying to figure out if my 
my outfit looks good or not because my my jeans are like kind of not skinny jeans and not they're kind of long on me but i'm like <laughs> hello can somebody tell me if that looks good okay <laughs> hold on okay i honestly can't decide if it looks good or not but i'm gonna wear it because it's all i brought i honestly i packed terribly as i said i'm just like getting up and leaving every single day so i never have time to do laundry so i just have to like make it work with whatever clean clothes i have honestly oh jesus so i've been like rotating i've been using all my clothes recently because the weather is just so unpredictable everywhere i go like today here it was like 80 something but tomorrow it's supposed to be 60s so i packed winter clothes because like it's winter in california now okay everybody stack at the because the summer is finishes i am very much a mess right now i just don't have time to be put together <laughs> So, I'll check back in later. Good morning. Um, so last night we went to bed fairly late and um, it is now, it's 7.30. I got up at seven. It's pretty loud, actually. Let me go inside. Okay, so I was rudely awakened by my stomach. Actually, no. My alarm went off and I usually snooze, but my stomach was hurting so bad. So I just got up and I'm trying to make a target run right now. Um, by the way, I'm not like super sick, but when I first wake up, I do sound very congested, which I guess is pretty common. Like I do wake up congested on a daily basis. But right now, because I am sick, I sound terrible when I first wake up. So, we don't have our meeting starting until 9. Breakfast can be eaten while we're meeting. Um, but I want to go to Target because I forgot my deodorant. <clears throat> and that's the main reason why, actually. That's all I need. Hmm. It's kind of an expensive ride. Should I rethink this? Let me rethink this. Okay, I rethought it. <laughs> so, I forgot I... I forgot my earrings, so I I feel naked without my rings and my earrings. Um, I can't replace my rings, but I can replace my earrings. So I'm going to get earrings because you can't really tell, but my hair is pretty frizzy. Um, it doesn't look terrible, but it does look very frizzy at the top. So eventually I'll probably put it up, but I feel weird putting my hair up without earrings. I know it's weird. It's weird. Um, I need that and hopefully maybe something for my hair honestly but it's supposed to be cold today it does not look cold so let me show you guys like girl where cold where but it's supposed to rain at 11 so i don't know this weather is crazy and it's messing me up um but yeah today we have meetings at 9 9 to 12 i think and then we have lunch and then a team bonding activity which is an escape room which i've never done um and then i think that's it really and then we fly out tomorrow okay update i canceled because i was like so do some math with me it is 7 45 my uber was still 10 minutes away so i chose this target because it opened at chose this target because it opened at seven versus the nearest one opening at eight so I was like, I'll get there and back faster. But my Uber was taking forever to get here. So then I was like, what if... <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to cancel this Uber. Call one for a closer target. That way, if it takes a long time, I'll, I'm still closer by. So I cancel the Uber. I call another Uber. That one is also 15 minutes away. I was like... Why is it taking so long to find an Uber here? So then I was like, well, it said by the time I got to Target, it was gonna be 802. Which I guess like in the grand scheme of things, like if I'm trying to make it at nine, I think I have time. But um, I was like, what if I can't get an Uber 
So let's say I take like 15 minutes shopping. <laughs> it's 8.17 by the time I finish shopping. And then I have to wait another 17 minutes for my Uber ride. That's gonna take like 15 to 20 minutes to get back to the hotel. So I'm just like rushing. I don't wanna do that. I don't like to rush. So anyways, I just went to the little convenience store that they have here. Pepto deodorant. I don't have anything for my hair. But there are little boutiques walking distance. Ugh, they're probably not even open. No. I don't know. I'm gonna see if anything, any little boutique is open nearby. Maybe I'll go get myself some earrings. I think the earrings will do it for me. I think my hair, everybody knows what natural hair looks like, right? So I think that's fine. I really wish, I have an oil at home that I use and I forgot it. So I feel like it just looks, like on camera right now, it does not look bad at all. It looks very shiny. That's not what it looks like in person. <laughs> Besties, I feel like I have literally been in my room this entire vlog, but it is so hard for me to vlog when I'm working because I'm not gonna be putting a camera in everybody's face. Obviously, I'm not gonna be recording like work things and stuff, um, but we basically, so when I left, I don't know if I recorded anything this morning. I think I did, but I have no idea. Um, I ended up not going to Target. I don't know if I said that already. And then I just worked from here. And then I went down to the conference room where we were meeting. We had breakfast there. We were meeting, 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 meeting um, for like three and a half hours, I think. And then we had lunch. Now everyone's doing their breakout groups. But um, so basically like I am part of this. So there's a, a broad marketing team and then within that marketing team, there's another marketing team, which I'm part of. But then within that marketing team, there's an even smaller marketing team, which I'm part of. Um, so technically I don't, I don't have a counterpart to meet with here today. So it's just free time for me. Um, I don't really know what to do because it's raining outside. Um, so I'm thinking I'll Uber to a coffee shop. I'm genuinely so tired right now. Um, but I, I'm not going to be able to nap. Uh, so I think I'm going to go work at a coffee shop, get some coffee and work. <laughs> I just said that, but oh my gosh, I have really, really exciting news. I'm kind of like, I can't believe this is happening. Like I'm in shock right now. Um, so I'm not going to tell you what it is until it's officially official, but I could cry. Like this is crazy that it's happening um yeah it's like not a big deal to you guys probably but like personally this is i've wanted it for so long so so i'm gonna say for now let's go get coffee you guys so yesterday my coworker and i were at a cafe pretty much all day until they kicked us out because they were quote unquote closing I think it was like it wasn't even 2 p.m. yet and I had earlier asked hey what time do you guys close Cause they they've been cleaning for a while so I was like oh maybe they're trying to close you know and they were like oh we close at 3 and I was like oh okay cool so when it's not even 2 p.m. and they're like yeah you need to go we were like oh what the heck and literally somebody came and they were like um oh sorry we're closing out and the customer was like oh okay and the family was like i thought you said they closed at four and she was like yeah online it says four so anyways right now my coffee is really cold um right now i walk by there and i'm sorry if this traffic is super loud but i walk by there and they're still open and it's past 3 p.m so literally the only reason I didn't go there was because I was like, oh, they're closed. So I went to this other coffee shop and the Wi-Fi didn't work. So now I'm walking back to my hotel to work. I'm honestly really tired and that's why I didn't want to be in the hotel room because I'm worried it'll make me more tired. But that's what we're going to have to do. Best <laughs> 
my okay so my wine a new brand is in store and i'm seeing it for the first time <sighs> it's here no way oh my and it's sold out. god look at that how do you feel <laughs> oh my god you guys my throat is honestly killing me right now it's been hurting like the entire night it is sore <coughs> and i think it's just because i haven't like fully recovered and i've been talking so much so uh yeah i like even took a shot of tequila so i could like soothe my soothe my throat a little bit but it hurts we had a really good dinner or whatever and I'm going to bed now <laughs> good morning <laughs> I think I feel like absolute shit today <laughs> oh my gosh you guys I need to go to the doctor <laughs> oh my gosh like I cannot get rid of the congestion I cannot get rid of the congestion my stomach hurts my throat hurts it like my tonsils are not infected thank god that's like the worst fucking thing but it feels swollen and um i just need a rest i need some fucking nyquil because i'm not sleeping well and i need to get my ass home and just rest like I think my body just needs rest. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> yeah, yesterday when we were out, like, I could feel, like, my throat, she was giving out. And I think it's because I wasn't fully recovered. I just jumped back in as soon as I started feeling okay. And now, like, we're out late and I'm talking so much that it hurts. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go to Starbucks to get a bicep bar right now so that hopefully that'll soothe my throat because I don't need to be talking this slow or like this, bit. I feel like it sounds a little choppy. I'm just not doing well. I just brushed my teeth <laughs> and I think Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think that helped. <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> let me go get my tea instead. Okay, you guys. Um, one, I apologize for how crazy my hair looks. But, um, so I was like, oh, I'm feeling sick. I don't want to walk anywhere. I'm just gonna Uber, right? So I got an Uber, type in Starbucks, whatever. Um, girl, <laughs> when I got there, <clears throat> that Starbucks no longer exists. So, um, what's up with that Uber? <laughs> yeah, so then I was like, okay, there has to be another Starbucks nearby. What's the closest one? I look it up. It's a 26 minute walk. Okay, I finally got my fucking medicine ball. Um, I'm walking back to the hotel now. I think it should be very close. Maybe like... 10 minute walk i'm dead <laughs> i really could have walked here like so long ago but girl when i was in starbucks i walked out and there was this person i'm gonna call them a person because i don't know what kind of person they were like if they were a good person or a bad person um but they gave me bad person vibes for sure and they like started following me and i was like oh my god i'm gonna get taken but i didn't get taken thank god my god i finally made it okay so this is the conference room where we were at all day yesterday i'm glad nobody's in here i thought people would be having meetings but um they basically set up breakfast for us to go oh my god i'm winded i'm gonna take a bag and go to my room because i have some work today but yeah that was such a freaking long ad it took me like two hours to get this stupid coffee um or tea I feel like shit right now. 
Um, it is, I think it's 9 a.m. here, because my laptop says 8 a.m. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's 9 a.m. I am going to drink my tea and my medicine. And um, I don't know if I should tell you guys what my good news is. Uh, I think I probably, I want to say it, but I want to, I want it to be like fully real and uh, I'm so tired right now, hold on. I just want it to be officially official. That's what I'm looking for. I just want it to be officially official before I go telling the world. <laughs> Um, that probably won't happen for a few days, but, but I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, and then I'm going to do some work, and my coworker and I are supposed to fly out at the same time at 4 p.m. today, we were debating on moving our flights up, I don't know if that's going to happen, I kind of want to go home, and then I kind of want to see something, because I've literally just been at the hotel, or like, go out to dinner and drinks with my team, um, but we'll see, we'll see what the vibe is. Hey it's about checkout time um <clears throat> i'm pretty hungry i don't really know what we're gonna do right now i'm meeting up with my coworker so that we can check out and probably go to a coffee shop and finish up working and then we'll probably eat i don't know what though um honestly i did zero research on scottsdale to come before coming here because well one i was really busy with travel in general um <clears throat> okay, I ran out of storage while trying to film that, but I'm leaving. <laughs> you guys, <clears throat> excuse me, I am back in California now and I decided I would share the news. I got my own apartment. <laughs> yes okay that is the big announcement that i've had i didn't want to share because i was in process of signing leases and doing deposit and all that i just wanted it to be officially official before i said anything but ah, it's officially official um i'm probably not gonna move in for a few weeks because i leave to mexico on wednesday today is monday um but yeah i'm hoping to be fully moved in before christmas so I'm missing Thanksgiving. I'm going to be in Mexico for Thanksgiving. And then I come back. I'm here for the weekend slash week. And then, of course, I, I can't be moving as I'm working. I'm going to do it slowly throughout that week, probably. And then I leave for LA. So, you know, the travel continues. But I have my own place now. This is so exciting. Of course, I'm going to take you guys through, like, me furnishing and moving in and all that. So, oh, my God, this is huge for me. I... Uh, I've always wanted my own apartment. So I'm super, super, super excited. I'll give you guys a walkthrough when I come in another day. It's dark right now. I just came to pick up the keys and measure for furniture so I can do that while I'm in Mexico. But wow. Okay, okay. Thank you guys for following along. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye.